I was just, hang on, hang on. I just want to tell the customers that uh, I was just having a, a pre-production meeting word with you just and said to Doug, uh, come on, you've got to look happier. And Doug said, I feel like I'm going to collapse at any minute. So the that show is, the show has begun. That's right. Uh, now then, this is um, this is a, for a lad I can't remember his name. That it's um, it's going to be a five-string bass, 24 frets. Uh, there's the neckety thing. Look, I've shaped it. Not fully finished, but there it is shaped. It's got a W in pearl, and that you never know that there's always a chance it could fit. I take it the W is it's your W, it's not called Wayne. No, no, it's a bird, but well, it's a W. Watch you, I think, yeah. But there you go, I've made it all, I've done all that by hand and I've fitted it. But the time to have the hand stuff is finished now because I'm going to use that big router. Because I'm going to put an edge binding on it. That's a... Uh... I can do that by hand, I've got a lovely, lovely tool. Hang on a sec. That neck, it's not one piece, is it? This? It's not one piece, you've got a... Uh... It's very nice wood. Look at this lovely, lovely wood. So it's one piece, and then you've got a, then and you've got the fret fret fretboard. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And the truss rods under it. Yeah, it looked like it was one piece. Yeah. Uh, wood, that's made more. Yeah. And we've got that neck I made for the customer. The one that burnt. The one that burnt is went to a frassel. Yeah. Uh, now then, yes. you've seen this before. This is the swamp ash body that was in the thick of the fire. I, I like the body. And me. Uh, so what I've done is I've stabilised it so far. And tomorrow I'm going to, or oh, the day after probably, yeah. I might, I think I'll leave that bottom bit of brown. Now yeah, I like that. The ash over like yeah, that. Yeah. I will sort all that out because you don't want that in your hands. Well, I don't know. But look, there's no black coming off it now. I've stabilised it and it's strong. I'm still wondering whether you need to actually fill it full of uh, clear filler or whatever you said you're going well, to do. Yeah. It's got that sort of... It's a bit too rustic. Uh, well, rustic, I don't think, is the right word. No. Well, you don't want splints up your bum or anything else, do you? So, you don't want splints in your hands or, when you're trying to play it. Or when you're playing, you don't want the, the body to actually cut your plexum in half. No. No. So, uh, I'll, I'll, it's a beautiful piece yeah. of wood as well. It's such a shame it burnt that badly, but I wonder, there you go. I wonder how the burning will affect the sand. Because it well, would have dried the wood still, out, wouldn't it? Yes, it would have done, but I, I have uh, moisturised it a lot. No, to, if the... If I've rehydrated the wood a lot. So I wonder how that... I wonder how the... Uh, yeah, the fibres in the wood. The humidity of the wood the affect the sand. It'll be absolutely fabulous. No, I'm just saying, I wonder how the humidity in no. wood generally affects... If you the feel the weight of it, it's virtually the same weight as it was before. And I think it probably is almost exactly the same weight. So, no, but I wonder how much wood humidity actually affects well, wood in general. Well, it's surface. You can hear it. It's still got a tone. Mm. And it's, look, there's all the wood. Pretty flat to me. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yes. Let's get, uh, so, I've made, so what I've done, the next thing, there's Mark Bennett's neck. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I've made some jigs. I've made some jigs for Mark. Uh, now, that I've made, to start it off, Three necks. Now look, there's, that's the one that's going on this. I've chosen this one. That's the one that's going on what? On this. Okay, yeah, solid. I've then. chosen oh, this yeah, for yeah, yeah. Bernie bits. Oh yeah. Uh, you, oh. I'm not certain yet whether I'm going to put that on or rosewood. Depends who you're selling it to. No, it's got to be rosewood. I think you're right. I think it will be rosewood. And uh, I've got two maple ones I've made, started making. The wood's fabulous to work now. Mm. And. Um, so I've made another neck. I've started carving another 24 string five, uh, 24 fret five string again. So I've started carving this one. What's going on? You know, you should have, as you were saying that, just you, you should have said something like, you should have listed the whole spec like I'm just, as you see over there, it's 24 fret, five string, yeah. three volume pot, two po I don't know, pots, I don't know what he's having on. 18 toggle. Um, I don't have no idea what you're having on. There's a piece of paper over there somewhere. So it would have sounded quite impressive. Do you want to walk into the spray booth and I'll show you how to deal with the five string? Mm. Uh, there's another twin neck. Hey, the smell of the workshop's going yeah. slowly. There's the twin neck now. I've started oh, uh, yeah. doing a sunburst on it. Obviously, it's going to be dark and that. It's dark course, around yeah. the edge, I think, yeah. yes. But it's nice, isn't it? Uh, so that's coming on. Well, it looked nice when it's finished. I don't like the colour now. I do. I love it. 
Mm -hmm. I've just come back from Rome though, I've been away for a week. So everything we just had to be uh, put on the back burner. There's the old Gibson now. I've got you polishing this by the way, the 20, 1920s Gibson. Oh yeah, I've got you nice. polishing it up, yeah. it's coming up. Yeah, yeah. That'll be finished this week. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice to see you got you some speakers stored down there and a nice tidy clean No, house. somebody um, bought me them round, who was it? You mean they're not even yours? No, no, they gave them back to him. Alan Boone brought them round. Yeah. And the speakers, I built them for the monitors years ago. What did he, did he borrow them off you about eight, 25 oh, no, years no, ago or something? They paid me lots and lots of money. Oh. At least a pound. So I, um, so I've got them back now because he's retired. Has he? Yeah. What, what actually are they? Are they guitar speakers or? No, they're nothing. Oh, nothing speakers? Blown the speakers alone. So just boxes then? The speakers in them, but they're no good. Yeah. 10 inch, I think. Uh, there's there's just there's a the slot. Uh, there's the yeah that's the slot that's um, it's caught Dave Cotswold's eye. It did. It doesn't uh, look that bad himself. What's the what's the all the sturdy stuff on the front? Is it like no like idea? It, or is it just scum? I think it's, it's um, a Kingspan. Kingspan. Melted yeah, Kingspan. Melted Kingspan. And there's the back of this. So good yeah, yeah. Every time. So yeah. I could knock my neck off and make a new neck for it and clean all that up. You never know what I'll do. Mm. If the mood takes me. Okay, so. Uh, now, this, I'm just setting up this uh, tool. Mm. This is, a, I've got a nice uh, bigger base. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to do the edge bind. You know, I could do that on this, that jiggery pokery thing over there. Or I could do it on my overhead router. But this will do a nice, a nicer cut. So I'm doing it with this. As long as it's square, of course. Oh, it certainly is. Well, this, this is suffered in the fire, and I did ask Festil to if they'd service it for me. I've emailed them about five times, Festil mm. in Germany and Festil in London or wherever they are, mm. and not a reply. And well, they're brand new, it's brand new this was, in, a, in one of them boxes down there that melted. melted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. And they've not replied, they've not had the courtesy, and they're supposed to have a three year guarantee. All they wanted was a service, yeah. and I was, would have paid. Just so I know yeah. that they're safe to use. Yeah. Well, they haven't had the courtesy to get back to me, so I'll just have to use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So have you made, have you adapted that in some way? You haven't, have you? That's the way. Oh well, no, pushed. this is a, this was a thousand quid. All this with all these. Didn't uh, we? These, yeah. How could you afford that? You don't own that. I know. And um, there you go. Is I've that got lots of festival stuff. I've got a sucking off machine down there. Festival. We were doing. It's really good, that is. Oh, I thought you were being filthy. No, no, it's a really good festival soccer offer. So, uh, what, so for, like, sort of for. for you can actually top training your machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you plug good. your machine into that, except you can't do it with this one. Because this uses so much power, it has to have its own power supply. Have you actually used that once, though? What's that? That thing on the floor. Loads. The extraction unit thing, have yeah. you? It's really good. You know, like people like you, you tend to come round uh, the workshop. You got this great gear, but you're not using it. You just you're just working in like. No, uh, I used it the other day because uh, I was, like I said, I was making Mark Bennett some um, yeah. jigs. Yeah. I can't use them kind of things uh, for guitar as much because I can't be asked to have all the stuff anymore. But I've made this. There this you is a bit of scrap. Yeah. That's Mark. I think that's the size he wants it, but I need to have a meeting because when I've drawn it out, it looks a bit big bellied. Well, uh, I'll say nothing. Yes. No, well, either you or Mark. But that's the start of Mark's acoustic bass and uh, guitar. Well, we've got a customer here. We better wind it up. I think we've got a customer. Yeah, we have. Here he is. Uh, uh, just, uh, uh, don't say anything incriminating. No. We're just doing a video, so we're going to end now. You're not wanted by the police or anything, are you? No. Okay, right then, Doug, let's say. Yeah. Say goodbye. Yeah. See you in a bit. See you later. See you.